Hi everyone, in this short video, we'll discuss basic Open RAN terminology. Many people are familiar with the mobile network architecture, but this is a quick overview for those who are unfamiliar. This is what a typical mobile network looks like. You have the core network connected to the access network via transport network or backhaul. The RF transmission from the access network allows your smartphone or any other device to connect to the network. There are many different services that can be offered by the network, and they are shown here on top of the core network. When we talk about the radio access network, or RAN, this can mean different things in different generations of technologies. In 2G, GSM, it means the base station controller, or BSC, and base transceiver station, or BTS. In 3G, UMTS, it means radio network controller, or RNC, and node B. In 4G, LTE, due to flattening of the network architecture, there is just one node, the evolved node B, or E node B. Finally, in 5G, we have the next generation node B, or G node B. 5G also has a concept of next generation RAN, central unit or CU, and distributed unit or DU, but we'll save those for another day so we can keep today's video simple. It is worth emphasizing at this point that Open RAN applies to all generations or all Gs, that is 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. When you hear people talk about Open RAN, you hear Open and RAN, but when they write about it, they write it in many different ways. You also often see different hashtags used on social media, such as ORAN along with OpenRAN, etc. This confuses a lot of people as to what to refer to and when. Here is our attempt to simplify this terminology. Let's start with OpenRAN. OpenRAN is the movement to disaggregate the hardware and software and create open interfaces between them. It's as simple as that. When you see OpenRAN without the space, it could mean two different things. It could either refer to the Telecom Infra Project Open RAN group, as you can see here. There are two groups in the Telecom Infra Project, or TIP. The Open RAN Project group is an initiative to define and build 2G, 3G, and 4G RAN solutions based on general purpose, vendor neutral hardware, and software defined technology. The Open RAN 5G and R Project group, as the name suggests, focuses on 5G and R, or new radio. The other time you'll typically see Open RAN as one word is when it is used as a hashtag on social media like Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook. When it comes to ORAN, there are three different ways people write it, but what exactly is ORAN? The ORAN Alliance was formed after the merger of the CRAN Alliance and XRAN. Today, it has more than 160 mobile operators, vendors, and research and academic institutions operating in the radio access network industry. The ORAN Alliance publishes new RAN specifications, releases open software for the RAN, and supports its members in integration and testing of their implementations. Coming back to the terminology, ORAN, without the hyphen, is also used as a hashtag on social networks to refer to either the ORAN Alliance or Open RAN. ORAN with a hyphen always refers to the ORAN Alliance. As you can see, here's a summary of different ways to refer to Open RAN. We hope you found this short video on Open RAN terminology useful, and hopefully it has clarified any questions you may have had. We would love to know your thoughts on this, so feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at parallelwireless.com. Thank you.